Hi, I'm Lee. And I'm Morden. And we're LEGO designers. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the remote control to steer your models. We will use the MVP model as an example and connect it to the app. We will show you how everything works on a phone, though you can also follow along on a laptop or tablet. On the coding canvas, you can see a controller icon. Click on the icon and the remote control canvas shows up. You add a widget by clicking the plus button. There are remote control widgets which give control over your model and sensor widgets that let you see what the sensors detect. Click on the joystick widget and it will show up on your remote control canvas. The joystick gives you an analog control in X and Y directions. Click on the properties button of the widget. Here you can name the widget and change the color to make it your own. Let's name it joystick1 and change the color. Let's also add a button. Make the color yellow and name it button. Now place the button on the canvas and let's click the check mark. You will now see a locked version of your remote and then click the X to go back to the coding canvas. You should see a new block category called remote and when you click it, new blocks pop in. The blocks that show up will depend on which widgets you have used. There are blocks for each widget and options if you have many of the same widget. For this test, let's add the hat block when button is pressed. Then a sound block. Remember to change the programming mode to streaming, and if you haven't, the software will tell you. On the coding canvas, tap the small remote icon again to see the controller. Press play on the remote control, then tap the yellow button on the remote control for a beat. Let's add a few blocks to make sure MVP can run properly. You can find some of these blocks in the model block extension palette. Drag the remote control reporter block joystick to the space next to X. This is the movement of the joystick that will help you steer MVP left and right. Now bring the same block over again to the space next to Y. This time you will change the drop down to say Y axis. This is the vertical movement of the joystick and will help you move the MVP robot forward and backward. Then go back and press the controller icon again to see the remote control you've created. Click play and now you can move MVP around with the joystick. Now you know how to make your own Mindstorms remote control. Thank you for watching. watching.